Well, hello, gang, and welcome back to Arcanum. I'm just going to rest until morning here. As far as I know, we're simply looking for... Sarah Toon. And, uh, Lillian. I think Sarah lives here. If I'm not mistaken. I knew I was looking for a rundown shack like this. Well, if she did live here, she's apparently not here. A black chest. 52 gold coins. Well, what the hell? Is my memory that crappy? They had to have moved or something. Actually, no, that's where my healer friend came from. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about now. <laughs> I don't know anything about this world. I haven't explored anything. I haven't been to a whole bunch of towns and seen shit. Delon's General Store. I think Leanna was up here. Yep. Greetings, Leanna. Do you have a moment that we could talk? Let's see. I bring news of a man named Maximilian. Her eyes widen, unbelieving. Oh my god? Maximilian? We never dreamed that he was still alive. Where? Where is he? He's currently living on the Isle of Despair. I see. There's determination in her eyes and hope. Thank you, my friend. My father would have been so happy. He used to talk a Maximilian about Maximilian endlessly, saying how Cumbria would have been even greater had he taken his rightful place on the throne. Perhaps that might still come true to pass, or perhaps that still might come to pass. I will go and return with the true king. I certainly hope so. Farewell, Liana. Um, I'll take my leave of you. Well... Hmm. I thought that we might have to escort her there or something. I'm going to guess she has her own ship. <laughs> well, I was thinking we were going to have something to do from all this. Whatever. Let me continue my search for Sarah. I know that she lives in a rundown shack somewhere that she didn't even buy herself. It was just empty when she got there. <laughs> I won't forget that. Charcoal. Gladys. Wait a second. Good day. I spoke with Archibald. He has your ring. I can't remember who Archibald was, damn it. And I don't know if I want to tell Gladys that. That wasn't a secret that I promised to keep. Oh, yeah, wait. I, okay, I do remember Archibald now. Never mind. He's the one who told me to get the hell out. Or I was going to have to kill him or something. I don't need to keep that secret. He does? I'm shocked. That cad. Is there anything you can think of that might help me get the ring without having to put a sword in his belly? No. Nothing I can think of. Hmm. Hmm. Well. <sighs> Do I want to go kill Archibald? <laughs> get the ring back. I don't particularly care for either of them. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I checked all the chests here. I feel like I've been pretty thorough when I come to these towns to steal their goods from their rubbish bins. Let's see, what do you got for me? Anything? No. How much would it cost to repair some of my stuff? Okay. Seven coins? I really dislike how it takes down from the maximum durability. Makes me wonder if I should wait until it gets as low as it possibly can and then repair it. My worn shoes have taken damage. Oh no. Whatever will I do, I definitely need better boots. I've got the gold for it if I wasn't so stingy. You know, I just keep hoping that I'll find magic ones. Sarah Toon, here we go. Uh, here's the deed for the mine. It's all yours. Oh, thank you. This is great news. I can't thank you enough. She looks at the deed for a moment and then suddenly seems to remember something. Wait. 
there is something I can give you. I don't think it's worth much of anything. I've never had it identified, but I know it is at least magical. She hands us a sword. Okay, ooh. An unidentified sword. 15 speed. I don't know how useful that'll be to me, if at all. Again, uh, after this video, I'll take some time to research magical power. And if I can even use magical artifacts. I think I talked to you already, sir. Yeah, you had nothing for me. Could sell the vase and the candlestick for four coins. Man, those bandits. They were really hitting the valuable stuff. 162 coins for the guard leather. I think that's worth it. Hmm. It's like, do I want to sell him the light? You'll only give me 74 coins for the charged ring. That's robbery right there. You can have that. You can have that. I just want to poke around the town just a little bit more. In fact, I think I need to swing by Blackroot again, because now that I'm thinking about it, got some of this stuff knocked out, there's apparently a naked halfling or gnome over there that I need to talk to before I can talk to those other naked ones that we ran across. Wait a second. Archibald, let me save it. Pretty sure this is episode 25. Ah. Glad he sent me about the ring. You'll give me the ring or I'm gonna thrash you. You'll be dead before he gets here. Well. Great hit. He did not want to die. Wine. Gladius Ring. Half Orc Village. You're not coming up here to come in, are you? I have leveled up. I want to check something though. <laughs> he wasn't good, at least. I don't think I'm going to kill him. Again. I don't know what the history is between those two, really, and I don't particularly care. I don't think it warrants me gutting him in his own home, however. Seems a bit excessive. If he would let me buy it off of him, that would be something else. Okay, so let's see. Got one point. What was I wanting to spend this one on? I think I was going to take my intelligence up to 15. So we can attempt to make that helmet of vision... And I may not take that tech line any higher for the time being. I might start looking into traps or something like that. <laughs> See what we can get out of it. Or any of the other skill lines. Uh, Ancient Maze is probably too much at this point. Let me go back to Blackroot. Because I love backtracking. Probably my favorite thing in the whole world. And if I'm not mistaken, I think they told me that he was on the east side of this town. I'm probably pulling that out of my ass. If I was a naked gnome thing, where would I be? Possibly up there? I'm going to assume that they are in just weird places. And again, I am kind of assuming that this is actually the town I even need to go to. I don't think it is. I think I'm completely wrong about this. Let me go check something. You know, I never really went much further than the bandit camp up here. So it's entirely possible that there is something a little bit further. And 
nice little convenient crossing right here. Oh wait, no, these were the guys, okay. So where the hell did you guys say I needed to go? Seek one like me just to the east of Blackroot. Well, that's where I'm at right now, so just to the east of Blackroot. I was right. Sometimes maybe I shouldn't just doubt myself. To the east of Blackroot. I didn't see any roads that lead out on the east side of town that I could follow. The, the mystery of the naked halflings has me I'm quite curious. Just who are these guys? Are they a nudist cult? Can I earn their, their blessing, perhaps? What do we got in here? We got Grunwald the Poison Maker. Might as well check inside these houses. An inventor. Uh, what wares do you have? Another capacitor. I don't know why I'm buying those at this point. Now that I know those rings aren't actually going to go for anything. Okay. None of those other items look particularly useful to me. And yeah, let's see. I need a great helm and leather straps. I've got leather straps in my storage barrel in Tarant. That should be good enough. Hmm. Who or what is that moving down there? A grave lurker. Level 20. It's kind of terrifying. It doesn't have a whole lot of... I was saying it doesn't have a whole lot of damage potential, but I take it back. An earth elemental. Ah, why did I even swing at that stupid thing? I should know better than that. He didn't have anything to loot. Okay. I don't believe that. I can't rest here. Halflings, where are you hiding at? Come on, town guards. Let me... Let me, let me rest until I'm healed. You're not allowed to sleep on, on the streets around here. Really? And I'm pretty sure if you get interrupted while you're resting, I don't think you heal at all. I could be completely wrong. Let me see. 26 hit points. Probably going to be ambushed by something nasty and die out here. There we go. I am healing. I take it back. I just don't know what I'm talking about. To the east of Blackroot. There is nothing to the east of Blackroot. You frauds. There's no roads down here. There's no pathways. Somebody went to a lot of effort possibly to clear the land of almost all vegetation but grass. I might spend the rest of this video looking for this halfling. <laughs> Oh, there he is. It's the rest of the video. Time to end it. Level 1 Halfling Wizard. Hello, hello, youngling. Would you like to play a game? What kind of game? Oh, an old game, to be sure. And a fun one, if you be made of the right stuff. You think you're game, do ye? Well, what are the rules? The rules? Rules? Well, if you must know, I'll be asking you a question. And if you be a no in the answer, then the game continues. If not, the game is over. Uh, okay. Let's begin. Ha! Good then, we'll be s begin straight off. One question I'll ask and one answer there be. The wise man will spot what the dollard won't see. Oh man, I'm gonna be a dollard. A painted face, hands with no bones. My oldest brother was made of stones. What am I? A painted face. Well, a clock face would be painted. So you know what time it is. The hands definitely don't have bones. His oldest brother made of stones would have been a sundial, or maybe Stonehenge even. A clock. Correct. 
Every clock has boneless hands, and we all know that sun- Ah, goddamn, I'm right. We're first made of stone. You seem to be a resourceful one. Would you like to continue? I think we're going to be assaulted, sir, but of course. Good sport. Well then, if you follow to the west, just beyond the camp of thieves, you will find an ancient stand of trees that some call the Withered Grove. There another one of our kind awaits. Good luck to you. A riddle quest. A quest of riddles. I haven't played a game where they've asked you riddles in so freaking long. The two that I remember the most would have been Shadowgate on the NES, I'm pretty sure. And Who Framed Roger Rabbit? I think if you wanted to continue in that game, if you died, you had to answer a riddle. Which was pretty funny. Oh, man. Gonna have to save it for this. Just in case I fell. And then the little halfling bastards will be like, We know you saved, scum. You cheat piece of shite. You cheating piece of shite. Ah, a true player. Not one we've seen in many years. And none so promising. Are you ready for the next question? Sure. That's the spirit. Though before I begin, I feel I must tell you. This game is an old and mysterious one. Let it be known that the stakes are always high. As are the rewards. I don't even care what the stakes are. Hit me with the next question. A brave one you are. Well done. You might just win this yet. The question is, death to one while birthing another. Trees begin to shiver around its grandmother. What am I? Um... Hmm... Death to one while birthing another. Well, the spring kills the previous year. Grandmother of spring would be winter. The trees would definitely shiver. I'm going to say spring. Well, well, well. Seems like a ruby moon since any souls played this well. Just north of here you will find the stony ground. There you will find the last of us. Think on this, my friend. You can still stop playing. Okay. I'm not gonna stop playing. I'm gonna go for it all. I'm gonna win everything. The halflings will probably stump me with this last one. Being multiple choice and not having to type the answer in, though makes it a little bit easier. So, it seems we have a smart one, eh? I've stood many nights here among the stones waiting for one such as you, and yet I hesitate. I've seen many fail. You can still turn back. Well, I've come this far, and let's finish this. Very well. What's done is done and can be no other way. Whatever the outcome, know that the stones and... I and mine will remember you. Okay, let's go. Causing wounds and cleaning. History dies from its rinsing. Life or scars is its blessing. What am I? Hmm. I'm leaning towards memory. Memories can hurt you. They can also cleanse you emotionally. History is slowly washed away by memory being cleansed and slowly manipulated over time. Life or scars is its blessing. Scars would be like depression. Doing nothing with your life because all you can think about is the bad stuff that brings you down. I must say memory. <laughs> oh god. Putrid walkers, Gorgard. I knew I was gonna fail one of them. Ghouls, Gorgards. I'm not. No, I want to. I want to actually succeed on this. I'm going to save Scum. <sighs> okay. It wasn't memory, so that means it has to be time. 
It was the whole, uh, history bit. Why history dies from its rinsing? Life or scars? Time? Oh my god. <laughs> it's gotta be fire then. I feel that this one is far too open-ended. You guys are tricking me, aren't you? There's no correct answer here, is there? Okay, we've tried time. Tried memory about fire? I guess it's fire. Well done, young one. Few are those who win the old game. You've earned this prize. Use it only in times of the gravest danger. Remember us, and when you think you're alone, we'll be there. A mysterious gem. That's what I think he gave me. Okay. Feel kind of bad that I had to save come through that, but that last one was too tricky. Yes, you are a special one. The old ways don't give to just anyone. Special meaning... I totally didn't cheat my way through that. Uh, let's make our way over to Shrouded Hills. Probably going to be ambushed a couple times here. I want to go check the mines, see if Sarah makes her way back there. Go talk to the ghost, go talk to the brother. Kind of get that quest thread all wrapped up. Come back here, you coward. I'd rather just fight you than have you guys constantly saunter away every time. I don't mind if the powerful enemies run away after I'd kill something, which I still think is weird, but whatever. I'm not going to run away if one of my companions die. I'm just going to reload the game. The Malachian Hand again, huh? Level 20, we're going to die here, by the way. Uh, I cannot kill the level 20 guys, as far as I know. I will show you why here in a moment. I'm going to let him run all the way over there. He'll come after me. Make no mistake about it. He ran all that way and still got two attacks off on me. These guys can attack so many times every turn. <laughs> See, like that. Oh my goodness. Draining all of my fatigue as well. I can't, I don't think I can kill this guy. Nope. <sighs> this game. That's. Again, another shining example of why levels on enemies don't actually mean anything. That level 20 may as well be a level 50. His dagger does a ton of hit point damage and fatigue damage. He attacks, I think I counted seven, maybe eight times per turn. This is where I'm curious how you would even play this game in real time. Because, like, he's still going to be attacking super quick. But not only are you going to have to be dealing with one guy attacking you at a time, you're going to be swarmed and getting stabbed by absolutely everything at the same time. First bank of Shrouded Hills. Nothing in there for me. So, the Toon Residence is where... Again, going to assume right there. It's a shame I can't just click there and place a waypoint that far away. Thing is, if I take the time to set to go through the map and click and place the waypoints, I probably could have just ran there on my own in the same amount of time. Okay, I'm gonna guess he's not gonna be too happy about this. Hopefully, he's not suicidal. Yes, what is it? I turned the mine over to your sister, by the way. By the gods, you are evil! You're trying to ruin me! Get out! Get out! <laughs> Whatever. I'm evil. You're the one who apparently your mother couldn't stand. The one who sold the mine off for... basically nothing? I mean, the mine is cursed because of you, buddy. 
Your mother hates you so much, she wants- she would rather come back as a ghost to haunt this place. And she's gone. Pure ore! Holy crap, there was three of them right there. Does this stuff respawn, or is that just like... a gift from her to me? Her parting gift, because this place was... Shitting out, what, garbage? Or, the first time we came through here, some basically worthless stuff. A minecart. I don't remember checking that. An unidentified dagger has been there the whole time. I wonder what else I missed. Well, I was trying to blast my way through here. I'm gonna do another sweep. Just because I'm curious. The ghost is gone is nice. I was hoping we would bump into Sarah somewhere. Maybe run into her down there kicking her brother out of the house. A barrel. This old sprocket looks ancient. There is an imprint mostly rubbed off. The only five letters you can read say Groth. Strange. How did I miss that barrel? last time. I bet I could go back through a lot of the places that I have been through and find items and stuff that I've missed. The best sword in the game I've probably ran by. Some incredibly powerful armor. Completely missed. Okay, so that must have been the ghost's gift to us. Three pure ore. No idea what it's used for. Probably not going to sell it anytime soon. We'll take it to Tarant and drop it off, I guess. Uh, one thing I do want to check since we are here. I want to check one more time. Might as well do it with you guys here. Up at the crash site and see if uh, Virgil is back. Again, it says that in peace getting a ton of pop-ups now. Shit is going live. Wonderful. But uh, the wiki says that companions that you dismiss or that disappear will head back to where you first met them. And that Virgil should return to the crash of the IFS Zephyr. But as you can plainly see, he is not. He does not care. He went out and he's doing his own thing. Either that or he's dead. I still haven't figured it out. We'll go back to the uh, Mountain Clan cave at some point and just clear it out for the hell of it. Yeah, I would figure maybe he would be down here worshipping at this thing, you know. Maybe he thought I was a failure, I wasn't the prophesied one. Rest in peace, Virgil. I tried. I tried, I tried my best for you, buddy. Oh, uh, man. I guess we're going to go back to the Isle of Despair, maybe? I really don't know. <laughs> I don't have too much stuff left in my journal to knock out that has specific instructions. Most of the stuff left is like, uh, hey, if you find this, bring it back. Dark individual. I'm not the person you're looking for. It's just one of them. Surely we can kill one, right? Why can everybody in this game summon help? A ragged fighter. You have a way, you have quite the way of dealing out the damage, Krogmar. Yes, I know. Human's vitals are incredibly easy to hit, believe it or not. Unidentified robe, wow. So they can start carrying magic items for you. Beautiful. You know what, I think I'm going to end the video here. Whenever we come back, we'll continue to make our way to Tarant. And let's see. So the first quest left in my journal. So look for an ancient elven amulet. 
Then find the Siamese twin skulls. Destroy the portal. Do something about Gladys' ring down there and the taxes for the king, which I'm not going to worry about since we found the true king. Look for the Black Mountain Clan on the Isle of Despair. That's pretty much all we've got left. I think I'm going to have to go there and possibly try to take out that bandit camp if Maximilian doesn't have anything else for us. <laughs>